Math, my dear boy, is nothing more than the lesbian sister of biology. Hello, sir. Enough with the foreplay, sailor. What are you selling? <laughs> well, I was going to try to sell you some handsome cream, but I can see you already bought out the store. Go on. So perhaps you'd be interested in something every homeowner cannot be without. Volcano insurance. Go on. According to my uncle, who's a real whiz with volcanoes, a volcano is coming this way. Hmm. I, too, have an uncle. Come in. How much is this volcano insurance? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, let, let's say $200. $200? That's more than I spent on all that handsome cream. I don't have that kind of money. What about that jar of money? No oh, way. That's low as this rainy day fund. Ah, come on. It never rains in Rhode Island? Well, yeah, but I'm pretty sure we've never had a volcano either. Well, don't you think we're overdue for one? Touché, salesman. <laughs> Oh, it's you. Um, I'm not in right now. Please leave a message. Beep. Oh, man, I hate these things. Uh, yeah, hi, this is Peter Griffin. Uh, I'm sorry I missed you. Uh... Peter, play with this. Look, sir, I have reviewed this contract, and it offers no coverage at all. It just says volcano insurance over and over again. And down here in small print, it says he's signing it, he's signing it. I can't believe it. So? So just refund this man's money and we'll be on our way. I don't have your money. How about that money? No way! That's Lois's rainy day fund. Ah, oh, damn it.